Hey everyone, I'm Max Murphy, and you're watching Mac News Weekly. This episode is sponsored by Gibraltar Management. The biggest news this week in the tech world involves something that's not too related to the Mac yet. Google has launched a first WebKit-based web browser, and it's called Chrome. Google says that a new web browser is needed because the internet has transformed from text-based sites to sites with video, audio, and interactive features. A new browser built from the bottom up is needed. Some features include a new JavaScript engine called V8, tabs above the address bar, auto-completion in the address bar, a speed dial for websites you visit most often, privacy mode, and web apps that launch in a simple window. Right now, it's only available for Windows, but a Mac and Linux editions are coming soon. It's finally confirmed, a day that we have been waiting for for literally weeks now. Apple sent out invitations for a September 9th event titled Let's Rock. It takes place at 10 a.m. PST at the, let me try to get this right, Yerba Buena Center in San Francisco. Sources close to the blog say that this will be solely a music slash iPod event, a computer event coming later, possibly in October. Mac News Weekly will be providing coverage of the Tuesday event next Saturday in video as always. And with the event just around the corner, I couldn't help mention some rumors that have been floating around the internet. iLounge claims to have spec drawings for both the future iPod Nano and the Touch. If the drawings are right for the Nano, it will be taller, narrower, and thinner than the current model, and it may look like this. For the Touch, it appears that it will have a thicker back much like the iPhone and volume controls on the side. In addition, it is not likely that we will see an unlimited iTunes service at the event. Looks like AT&T was having some minor, actually major troubles this week with their wireless data network. On Wednesday morning, AT&T's Edge and 3G connection went down for about 10 hours in the Northeast. It was restored by noon, but now that I think about it, I was driving in the car to school, trying to access something on the internet, and it couldn't connect. Now I know the reason why. AT&T identified it as a problem routing data to the device. If you experience problems, let me know in the show notes at macnewsweekly.com. Spore is coming out very soon, or you may already have it while you're watching this. It's a game that seems exciting, but I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it. Leave a comment in the show notes for your take on it. That's Mac News from this week. I'm Max Murphy. Have a good week.